Joey, Gabe Brown just went off for a record 59 points and then credits you for playing the wingman. He wouldn't have done it without you. Yeah. How fun was that? It was extremely fun. Uh, he caught fire, so it was good to watch him do that and get his shots up. <laughs> Moneyball's fun because it allows the game to be like when you were in school, just hanging out with your buddies playing in high school, a pickup game. But it's not what you practice during the day. Yeah. Is that what makes it fun? Is like, for example, last year Nick Ward was playing point guard and shooting three pointers, and he said yeah. to me, he goes, Man, don't put that video up, Izzo will kill me. Is that not the fun part of it? Yeah, it's definitely fun. You get to kind of just relax, have fun with it, um, let loose a little bit, so it's definitely fun. Yeah. I asked this to every freshman about this far through the summer. And I know you're not a freshman, but you're new, so it's a fair yeah. question. What's your funniest Izzo moment so far? Um, funniest Izzo moment? I don't know, I really haven't had one yet. Um, I think we're just kind of getting to know each other. I mean, I think we're, me and him are very similar. Um, he's kind of kind of from where I'm from. You know, he's up north, Iron yeah. Mountain, Michigan, UP. I'm from northern Wisconsin, so I think we just have really good connection. We connect well, uh, we think alike, and we're very similar. Defense, you were a very good defender in high school. Yeah. Very good. And you can't teach that. Yeah. You were very good at player. In my opinion, probably the best defender. Maybe your brother was right yeah. there at Marquette. Yeah. When you get here, it's a whole new level of commitment to defense, isn't it? Yeah. Is that a surprise to you? Uh, definitely not. I mean, you want to win, you got to play defense. And this is a program that wins. So um, it's something I'm looking to get better at, defense, definitely. Um, it's kind of working on my lateral movement, getting stronger. Uh, that helps a lot, yeah. I remember reporting when you were in high school when I said if Michigan State landed you, you would be one of the rarest players to actually come in with already that commitment to defense. That helps you a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I'm willing to, uh, I think I just kind of in school on, you know, kind of the principles about defense. You know, help defense, you know, help them recover. Um, there's some things I got to fix in you know, my footwork. Uh, that definitely helped me. I just learned something about you, Joey, that surprised me a little bit. I know you're a leader, yeah. but I was asking Julius about people who've helped him, and he mentioned you. Yeah. He just talked about on the court and practice and all that. You've been there. You've been a great help. I mean, is that an impact that you're already making that I think you can be almost another coach? Um, yeah, for me, I think it's more, you know, lead by example. Um, for right now, I'm just kind of getting my, my feet wet, and I'm learning from, you know, like new guys at Michigan State. but. Um, obviously, I've been a freshman before, and Julius is a freshman, so I know kind of how that first summer goes, and I know how to kind of help them. You know, I've had a, a year of college basketball under my belt, so I know things that are like little tips and tricks that are going to help you, and I've seen guys who play like him, um, so I know, you know what's going to be successful for him. i got to ask an honest question because I know you're humble, but I would like you to at least be honest. Yeah. Every game you've played in your life, going back to Nerf basketball probably in the third grade, yeah. You've been the best player on the court. You've been a great player, and that, that's a gift. Yeah. Going down the stretch at Marquette, clearly the best player at Marquette. Your brother very good, but you were you were the best player. You were very good. Now you come into a locker room where Xavier Tillman's projected to be a first rounder yeah. if he goes early. Aaron Henry could be a yeah. draft pick. Cassius Winston just named the number one player in yeah. all of college basketball. Joshua Langford, McDonald's All-American, projected first round. How nice is it to be in a team where all the pressure and bullseye is and on Joey Hauser to do everything? Do you enjoy that? Yeah, I mean, I, I experienced a little bit a little bit of that at Marquette. Obviously, we had Marcus Howard, who was you know, great player. Un unbelievable player, unbelievable scorer of the ball. Um, he's going to have an unbelievable senior season, and my brother as well. Um, so I think I can kind of you know, take a, you know, not like a, um, not necessarily a leadership role, but I can kind of step aside. Uh, those guys really helping me out, uh, Marcus and Sam, last year. So I think it's kind of, it'll be the same, yeah. Have you found your best place to go eat? <laughs> um, I like Brody on campus. Isn't Brody awesome? Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, you can eat as much as you want. And there's um, all the variety. Yeah, yeah, there's actually, I mean, if I had to pick like a restaurant, I like uh, the Peanut Barrel. I've been there a couple times. It's right on Grand River. Yeah, I mean, my, my parents have gone there. And, I don't know, there's a burger there that I really like. I don't even know if it's a good spot or not, but I like that burger, yeah. Last question for you, Joey. What's the biggest adjustment when you go to a new school? I mean, basketball's basketball. Teammates are teammates. Those guys are all going to surround you. Is it just learning where everything is? What's the biggest adjustment? Um, for me, it's definitely just been kind of getting used to having new teammates. Um, I think 
new environment and new kind of relationships is something that I'm not great at and something I want to get better at. So it's kind of establishing those relationships, um, being open, being honest, and kind of showing yourself has been it's definitely tough for me in like big big changes like this. So that's been the toughest part. But once you get on the court, once you kind of play together, then it kind of you know things just kind of settle and you know. The, you're not so nervous, maybe um, coming into a new group of guys. I mean, you get on the court, it's kind of do your thing, and it's it's kind of just like, all right, you know, he's here, he fits in, and it's good now. Yeah. You're so humble. You don't like to talk about Joey Hauser. I mean, you talk about anybody else in the world, and you're comfortable with it. Yeah. This is only summer, and there's a ton of media attention. Can you imagine what the season's going to be like? Yeah, I mean, I wish I could play. I, I really wish. Um, we're going to have an unbelievable team, but I'm going to be supporting you know, 100%. I'm going to be there in practice every day, pushing those guys to get better. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't like to talk about myself much, but um, I'm, I'm just excited. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Joey. No problem.